let's talk about finding local minimas and local maximas in functions where we don't know the analytical form. If we knew the analytical form, we could take the derivatives and equate them to zero. But let's say we can't do that. We can't compute the derivative as an equation in, in, in a, as a mathematical expression in analytical form. So let's say we have these axes okay, and uh, then we have a function. Let's take a brighter color. Okay. And uh, this is the point that we want to reach. Uh, let's choose a different color. So this is the point that we want to reach, which is a minimum. And I don't know if the function will go further down, like somewhere here. I don't care about that. I just care about this region. And I call this x, uh, uh, x star. So I want to reach x star. Right? Uh, that is my objective. Objective reach x star, which is uh, local minima okay from where from some region and in that region i am given some value x zero let's say uh, so what what i assume is that we can compute f of x and f dash of x so if i give a value of x i can compute f of x but i don't it's not a it's it's a either very difficult or very complex or it's it's not an equation that i can write down but i can compute it okay i can run it through an algorithm and it will give me f of x so if i look at f dash of x at x zero right so there's a tangent here right so there's a tangent here this tangent the slope of the tangent is positive right so if f dash of x is greater than zero implies minimize towards the left is i'm talking about local minima only and if f dash x is less than zero it means it is towards the right, right? So this gives me an algorithm to take a small step that will take me closer to x star. Okay. So what is that step? That step is that uh, your x1 is equal to x0 plus, sorry, not plus, minus, minus some small constant eta times f dash of x0 now it doesn't matter if this x0 is towards the right or towards the left okay for both sides this is going to work because if it is towards the left here then f dash of x is going to be negative and because of the negative two negative signs it will be the update will be positive and i'll be moving towards the right okay so that's a gradient descent algorithm in gradient ascent algorithm it's just the opposite instead of the minus sign you will have a plus sign and that will take you to the, the local maxima so in gradient descent this will be this is gradient descent and in gradient ascent where you want to climb up this will be a plus sign Okay, so that's the only difference uh, so the other couple of things that we'll we need to be careful about is uh, what is this constant eta how large it is how small can it be etc etc right so those let's look at those next so now let's look at the constant eta right so the way it works is so let's say you have a function right and uh, the function looks like this okay uh, and we are at some point here x0 right and we want to take some small steps okay 
So let's say if the step is too small, then we will only take a small step and the step will remain too small. We'll have to take too many steps to go down to this, uh, uh, to the bottom of the hill. If the step is too large, right? If the step is too large, then we'll shoot to the other side and then we will shoot to the to this side and then we'll so we'll oscillate and then we will reach the minimum if the step is very very large then we will shoot way to the other side and we will actually increase the function okay so we have to keep that in mind that your eta cannot be too large or too small too large or too small. Uh, so it turns out that there is a perfect eta if this function was a parabola. Right? And that is related to the second derivative of the function. If we knew the second derivative or if we can compute the second derivative, then we know that the point of minimum where the point of minimum actually lies for a parabola right um, so for functions that locally at least in some region look like a parabola doesn't have to be i mean there, there are convex functions that don't look like a parabola but let's say they, they, it looks like a parabola uh, which means what does a parabola means that its second derivative is a constant okay so if the second derivative is a constant in a wide range, then it turns out that you can reach the bottom in a single step. Okay, And that step is defined by the second derivative and it's, uh, it's quite a simple equation. So in that case, your update is as simple as uh, x1 is equal to x0 minus f dash of x0 divided by f double dash of x0. So here, if your eta is 1 by f double dash of x0, uh, then it turns out that you can directly reach the bottom of the, of the parabola. In fact, you can take this as an exercise and see that from any point in the parabola, you can reach the minimum point. So here, what is required Keep this in mind, you, what, what is required is an ability to compute the second derivative and an ability to invert the second derivative. Okay, uh, So this becomes more challenging for multivariate functions as we will see shortly. Uh, second derivative may not be easy to compute and to, to, to invert it may be, may be even bigger problem. Uh, so, uh, now the way to think about this again is that let's say you have a particular point right and you want to reach the minima so just the first derivative is not enough to find the minima in a single step because you can have a parabola that goes like this and then you can have another parabola with the same tangent at this point but it goes deeper and then it goes up here so we don't know whether we should take this step or this step to reach the bottom. So that's where the second derivative becomes important. So once we know the second derivative, we know that uh, uh, how large of a step to take. So obviously the second derivative of the, the black function is smaller. So one by second derivative is larger. So it's a larger step that will take you to the bottom of that second derivative. Same kind of considerations apply for going towards a the local maxima in gradient ascend except that the sign will be reversed 